In today's video, I'm going to go over the difference between Plastisol ink and a water-based ink when you get your shirt screen printed. And we're going to start right after this intro. What's good everybody, Mark here from Attack Clothing and I'm here to share with you guys what I learned when I started my clothing brand. So if you guys are interested in starting your own t-shirt business, creating a brand or growing your social media, consider subscribing. So in today's video, I'm gonna be talking about the difference between Plastisol ink and a water-based ink. When you get your shirt screen printed, the most popular ink that print shops use for screen printing is Plastisol ink. Plastisol ink is made up of two main ingredients which are PVC resin, which is a white powder, and plasticizer, which is a thick clear liquid. Print shops usually use this type of ink because it's easy to use and doesn't really clog up the screens. When you use this ink on garments, it lays on top of the garment and dries up when cured. This ink will make the color of your design really pop out, especially if it's on a dark garment. So this is our color sock shirt. We printed this on with the Plastisol ink because this design has that red color and I, wanted to and I wanted to really pop out. Now the cons of printing with Plastisol ink is that in time, it will crack. You wash it enough times that the ink will start cracking and get faded. If you also run your hands on it, you can actually feel the ink. This will also depend on what the type of blanks you use, either 100% cotton or mixed with polyester. The ink will have a different reaction on different types of garments. Now if your screen printer is really good and uses good inks, then you won't have this problem and it'll just crack due to being worn and washed all the time. To find out if your screen printer is whack, stretch out the garment where they printed on. If you start seeing cracks already, that print shop is bad. Now, there's the water-based ink. Water-based ink is an ink made with water rather than the PVC or plastic. It's made up of two main ingredients, water and pigment. So unlike with Plastisol ink, water-based ink usually seeps into the garment and dyes the material instead of laying on top of the garment. Water-based inks are soft to the touch since it seeps into the garment. You won't feel it if you've ran your fingers on it. So this is our Scrimador t-shirt. I told my screen printer to print this with a water-based ink. The ink is really soft to the touch, so you're not gonna feel anything. I really like using this when I want a vintage look. The only thing about using water-based inks, the colors are not gonna pop out like the Plastisol inks, but it's not gonna fade and not gonna crack. I suggest just trying both. See what you guys think of each one. Ask your screen printers about these two and check out these, their, um, their samples if they have any. Well, that's it guys. I hope you guys find this video helpful. If you guys have any questions, make sure to leave them down in the comment section below. I will try my best to answer them. If you find any value on this video, make sure to give it a like, subscribe to this channel, and hit that notification bell so you won't miss any of the upcoming videos. I will be releasing a video each week, so stay tuned. Until then, I'll see you guys on to the next one. Peace.